now in this video we'll make some boolean expression some more standardized gates okay so I'm sure you might have heard of NAND gate it's the NAND gate NAND gate says the output will be a dot b bar okay this is the output of NAND gates so it's the inverse of two input AND gates okay so we'll be using these gates only to make this NAND gates so let's put it aside for a second now it says a dot b inverse is equal to c so this is not the c this is the a bar a dot b as of now now to inverse it we have to include a NOT gate okay so we will be using this NOT gate here let's remove this bit and it will be like that okay this is your NAND gate which says if a dot b if a is 0 right now it's 0 because this is off 0 dot 0 result is 0 inverse of that is 1 that's why this bit is showing high this, this bit is high means result is high result is 1 so you can name this bit as c okay this is high because 0 dot 0 is 0 inverse of 0 is 1 this is high now if I turn this on now it's 0, 1 dot 0 this is a okay 1 dot 0 is 0 and operation is 0 here the operation is 0 if you want to see you can have a bit here as well well let's take another int to see the results here oops sorry not int bit my bad here okay let's name it as a dot b address 1 oops a dot b again this is your C okay now this says a dot B so 1 dot 0 is 0 so this is off don't confuse with this address this is the address okay this is one is okay let me give it 11 just so that you don't get confused this is fine this is let it be 12 okay now this is a dot B and this is C okay now a dot B is 0 because 1.0 is 0 even 0 0.1 is 0 so inverse of 0 is 1 that's why output is on this is AND gate so in AND gates if both inputs are high then 1.1 1 .1 is 1 this is 1 this is on inverse of 1 is 0 so output is off so output is off only in the case if both inputs are on otherwise in all other cases output will be on okay this is how your NAND gate works I hope it makes really good sense now let's make a NOR gate similarly let's put it here the NOR gate will be just like your NAND it's A plus B inverse okay now I hope you get the idea what we have to do next we have to just include a NOR gate <coughs> after the result of your OR gate okay and here and here and just if you want to see a bit result I can give it the address of mm, 13 okay connecting it like this and this can be given 14 this is your C and this is your A plus B okay equation says A plus B inverse is C so right now A is 0 B is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 inverse of that is 1 that's why output is 1 0 dot 0 is 0 it's not wrong inverse of that is 1 this is high now when I turn it on it's 1 plus 0 is 1 this is on inverse of 1 is 0 so this is off C is off even if I turn this on output is off so if you see the only case when output is on is when two inputs are off this is what your NOR gate says unlike your NAND gate in NAND gate output is off if both the inputs are on okay then only output is off here output is off if any of the input is on or if both inputs are on so that's the difference between your NAND gate and your NOR gate now there is one more gate much likely use this is exclusive OR or you can say that ZOR this is a ZOR gate and the expression for that is really funny not funny but yeah it's good a dot v plus this is a bar b plus 
a b bar okay and in between a and b there is a and operation okay so I should put a dot here so let's extend it a little bit now this is the ZOR gate so for that we need first inverse of a and with b okay so I need an AND operation so I'll take an AND gate here and let's take two two bits this is A and this is my B so I need inverse of A so I need one NOT operation NOT is here so inverse of A so this is A it's inverse is AND with B okay oh my god another mistake this is not AND this is AND so inverse of A and with B okay this is your B its result will be or with A and with inverse of B okay so if this is A and this is B so I need one more and operation and one more not operation so not is here so let's take a not next time not is for B so inverse of B this is B now output of this is inverse of B and it with A okay this is my A so I need to AND that so let's take an AND operation here okay so inverse of P and it with A so I'll take A from here directly <coughs> I hope that makes sense I'll repeat again this is A bar B inverse of A and it with B this is the A upper one inverse of a is there this is inverse of a and it with b this is b so it's b is going directly here so this expression makes a bar b then plus so i have to use an or gate here a a dot b bar a directly is coming b bar means inverse of b this is there now i have to or that i have to plus that plus is r here so r2 output coming here and here and you need to display the result you need a bit here so I'll go to output and I'll take a bit okay before turning it on let me give an address 15 this is your basically C now in ZOR gate if any of the input is on output is on not otherwise not in any other case so if I turn on A output is high in this case if I turn on B output will be low that's what your ZOR gate says I'll explain you how then if you turn on only B then output is high otherwise if you turn on both output is low if you turn off both output is low again now have a look initially it's 0 and 0 so A inverse here it will be 1 so let's take the output bit by bit I'm taking here address let's start with 20 now this is the inverse Okay, this is the address. And <coughs> if you want to address here, let's take one more bit. Let's give them an address. You can take as many bits you want. There's no restrictions. This is 21. Let's make it 21. Okay. Now, if you want to see the result here as well, I can show you. One more bit connected here. This is 22 and one more bit here and uh, let's make it 23 okay now input this is 0 and this is 0 so if this is 0 inverse of that is 1 this is here is 1 also you can see that by the light this illumination so 1 and with 0 the result is 0 this is 0 answer here is 0 okay so here it's 0 now look at that this is 0 inverse of that is 1 output here is high output is 1 1 and with 0 again is 0 so 0 and or with 0 output is 0 so output is off so in case when two inputs are off output is off let's take the second case when one input is high now this is high inverse of that is low this is 0 so and 0 and with any other 0 will be 0 again so or here is 0 this is 0 I'm coming here this is inverse so this is 1 Ended with one of this input a so result is high result is one one coming here one dot zero is one output is high if I turn on similarly if I turn on this one output will be high here 
which will be reflected in the outputs. What if I turn on both inputs? Now let's see inverse as zero coming here zero and is one so the result is zero. Here also this is one inverse is zero and it with one also it's zero. It is zero dot zero is zero so output is low. I'm saying zero and high because zero indicates low, one indicates high. So that's another terminology we use in gates. So this is your ZOR gate, this whole complex thing. And you know, connect I will make it very easy to make ZOR gates because it includes already pre-made, prepaid, you know, already made ZOR gates. Mm, let me find out. It's there. ZOR2. This gate actually comprises of all these things which we have done here. So if I remove all these gates, okay, and just connect this ZOR here. Oops, oops, not you. Connect it like this. Wait. One and two in output. So if any of the input is on, let's say this is on, output is on. If this is on, output is on. If both are on, output is off. If both are off, output is off. This is a shrink ZOR gate. Otherwise, I have explained you how you can make a ZOR gate as well. Okay? This is your ZOR gate. Now, we also have three input ZOR gates. In case if you have three inputs, you can connect like that. Let me make some more space. This is the first, second, third. And you need an output to display the value. Go to outputs, take another bit, give it the address 16, and connect the output like that. Perfect. Now, if any of these three inputs is on, just one, output will be high. Okay, like this like this and like this. If we turn on two inputs, output will be off. Okay, like that. You can see the different results. So ZOR gates are typically those gates which detects if any one of any one of these three inputs or two inputs are high, then output will be high. Otherwise, it will be low. Now, this logic can be used in many process control or step control applications, which we'll see in in further videos when we are going to work on home IOs. That's the upcoming videos. Anyway, so this was about ZOR gate and other primary, how to make different gates using primary gates and or and not. So these are the primary and or not. Using that you can make any gate you want. Alright, if you have any question, pop up, pop me a comment or put a comment below this video. I'll get back I'll get back to you. Thank you.